if the beat live, you know Lil Juke made it. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. Hey, you're watching Hyped with myself, one Jura Long Hour, and I'm here with one block of beats. Block of block of. Come you on, I'm good. Yourself? I'm doing fabulously. Uh -huh. I think we just killed it on radio. Merked it. <laughs> Merked it. Nothing Merked less. It. So now that's why I wanted to ask you a few other questions, yeah. some kind of like behind the scenes stuff. So mm -hmm. I wonder, what would a whole block of be doing if it's not dropping Night Will Be It? Uh, well, I'm a busy man. I also have my startup agribusiness. Okay. She made Eco Gardens. Okay. Uh, we focus on organic agriculture and permaculture and build greenhouses, fish farms, aquaponic systems. So that's actually the main hustle or one of the hustles, the second hustle. Uh, and I also make shea butter on the side. Okay. Uh, I cut recycled glass and make it into vases and different, you know, glass glass type of things. So you're multifaceted. You're a creative and a business mind. Nairobi A2. We have to be hustlers out here. That's also very true. So I yep. see you are on brand with the whole Nairobi yep. thing, with the whole Kenya thing. Kenya. C54, that's what's up. So do you picture yourself like leaving these other hustles and making music a full-time thing? No, I look at it, they all come together in one, you know, I always say it's everything I do is all African, all organic, all local. And I keep it those same vibes, those same, you know, positivity within whether it's the music, whether it's the greenhouse, because I think it's all aspects that humans need, you know. We need music to enjoy, we need, we need fresh food to eat and be healthy. And yeah, we need to recycle so we can keep our environment clean. That's a very, very cool aspect. Never yep. thought of it that way, but we love to hear it. So you actually made a reference to DJ Khaled on air. Yeah. And I told you that it tickled me because there was something that I thought of mm -hmm. asking you before I even came to work today. So when I was thinking of what I would ask you an interview with you with, I thought, would you rather be, especially after listening to your album, mm -hmm. and it's very unique, it's very different, and then also you're, you're like a Swiss Beats, or a DJ Khaled, like exactly. mostly, like once in a while you could rap or throw yeah. something on there, but for the most yeah. part, it's actually really other artists, yeah. you know? You're, you're producing and creating beats and all that mm -hmm. jazz. So my question then became like, would you want to blow up in that way, like DJ Khaled or Swiss Beats, and be like a hella popular, you know, they're like, they're mm -hmm. hip hop, but they're pop. Yep. You know, everybody yeah. and their mother knows them around the world. Yeah. Or would you rather be an MF Doom? Hmm. Hmm, that's, that's a good like, question. You're like the king of underground. That's a good question. Your thing feel has it has just, both. It has both. Yeah. But it also does really have that like. Yeah. It would be a heavy underground thing that would yeah. be really popular in the underground scene yeah. as it is right now. And you even said you you source you know like your feels from New York and all those exactly. things. Exactly. Birthplace of hip hop. Exactly. And it, hip hop started underground. Yeah, yeah. So which persona do you feel like would be? Oh, that, that's a tricky one. I think for sure from my hip hop head and heart. It has to be MF Doom. Okay. Uh, from my wallet, <laughs> uh, I think DJ Khaled is doing pretty well right now. Equally important. And uh, that would be quite a vibe. Nah, but for me, I, I make all types of music. So I think pop, underground, that's what the album shows. It shows I can do both. I can provide both. Mm -hmm. And also the artists that I, you know, I'm with in the studio. Yes, you have more of the Caroons, the Shoppers, which is mainstream right. pop music. But then you have the pop, guys, pop, pop hip hop, R and B, exactly. But then you have now the Troublees, mm. the the Jiggies, which is now more underground, conscious rap. You know, really about the boss. Right, and people who are also up and coming, like Shy. Exactly, like that, so. exactly. Okay. So it's a mixture of both, but maybe in the next album, I can I can tell you which one I'm leaning more towards. Okay, fair. When I see you next time <laughs> coming to the hype and hype, you know. then we'll discuss that. Do you curate? in mm. any type of way when or at least when you did this since it's your first piece did mm. you curate this compilation or did you just let it happen my role last year what i wanted myself to do i wanted to make a minimum of 50 beats okay which i did uh, not even 50 beats 50 recorded tracks oh wow and from that 50 recorded tracks i now picked and chose and curated okay cool what is the first album what's the first sound i want to give out mm. What's the second album I want to give out? So yeah, I I've now have Nairobi A2. Mm -hmm. uh, in April, I should be releasing an EP with uh, Baraka Swahili Papi. Okay. A four-track EP, which is now again, you know, more trap, more, you know, this new type of rap that we're, that we're hearing with like our generation. And, like, all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah, that and then, exactly. And then uh, next we have Trouble Lee, which is now more conscious rap, talking about 
you know, so society and right. things that are happening right now in You're the not world. Your logic exactly. Well, so yeah. you know, also with these artists, I, I curate different vibes and and, and just different uh, masterpieces depending on on what they go with. Okay, super duper dope. Yep. Um, who are your biggest artistic inspirations? Especially since you do so many things, it doesn't have yeah. to be just music. Uh, number one is Bob Marley for sure. Okay. Uh, that's the legend. I, I grew up Not with... Not terribly shocking, actually. <laughs> you could definitely play him in a, in a bio. Yeah, I, I grew up listening to Bobby, yeah. you know, and I think if you look at him as his character, his personality, mm -hmm. to the instrumentation of his music, to the lyrics of his music, mm -hmm. you really can't go wrong with, with Mr. Marley. So that's your number one That's my number one guy. Okay, I won't even bother you. Since one you give guy. us so many different things that you do, I feel like yeah. that's, that's like that. Number aspect. one guy. <laughs> so I'm just like, okay, it's fine. There's something we have on, on the hype and hype called uninterrupted. Yeah. Where you can just say whatever is in your head, on your heart for at least up to two minutes. Okay. What's on your mind? What's in your heart? On my mind? What's on my mind? I don't know. Maybe... Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm really an advocate and, you know, adv uh, activist scientist within the environmental world so for me that's a huge and important thing in my life whether it's you know how how I buy my clothes is it second hand where is it made okay. to you know how 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 am I living within my household am I taking 30 minute showers am mm -hmm. I taking five minute showers to also just being self-sustainable you know right? yeah. most most of my veggies that I eat from home whether it's lettuce mint you know, Dania all come from the garden, all come you from... You grow it. Yeah, Do you yeah. grow it or does someone else grow it? No, 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 straight up. Come on. Okay, you yeah. got a green thumb. Yeah, yeah, See, yeah. See, we always learn something interesting and uninterrupted. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, so so for me, that's that's really important in my in my day-to-day -day life. And okay. just how I structure myself and uh, how, how I like to send my message out. Do you send um, your message out through the music? That's what I was going to ask you. Do you kind of want to eventually openly encourage other people to kind of live such a life? For sure. Okay. For sure. I think uh, they'll f they'll be an album okay. that will be quite, you know, environmental focus and climate change because these are topics we need to talk about, you know. Right. Music is important as a way of knowledge and education and yeah. I think yeah, we can have the trap and the litty songs, but yeah. we also need to have these other tracks that uh, inspire and put uh, more information into society. Right, right. In addition to twerking, we also need to think something. Exactly. We need to have the best of both worlds. Yeah, twerking and recycling. That's what we have to do. <laughs> I love that. I think that should be the name of this episode. <laughs> Twerking and recycling. All right. Yeah, no, I feel that because at the, at the end of the day, like the world is at war over a lot yeah. of the things that you're talking about and yeah, yeah. the revolution. So cool. Come on. I think Bimali would absolutely love that. Thank you so much for coming through, Blaka. Bless. Don't Appreciate it. it. Absolutely. Mm. Much love. Yes. Ciao. To one love. Hey, I see what you did there. <laughs>